Okay. I believe we're live now. Sorry about that, folks. The universe and technology. Gotta love it. Okay. So, I uh, would like to welcome you all here to uh, Chair Yoga, and this is part of the Live Your Best Life, Find Your Happy Place with Yoga and Meditation. And this is a program that is brought to you by the Engage Anywhere team. And I am Julie Fuentes, the self-described Chief Yoga Officer at the Virginia Information Technologies Agency. And I'm part of the Engage Anywhere team. And what we do is um, we're a group of state employees um, that uh, get together to uh, provide positive, creative, wellness-oriented experiences to employees throughout the Commonwealth. And we work through DHRM's Office of Workforce Engagement. So today we are practicing chair yoga. And this is um, a great way to get exercise if you have mobility issues, if you are perhaps nursing an injury and can't do a, a full mat yoga practice. Um, but it's especially good for those of us who sit at our desks all day long and are typing and hunched over and just sitting here. Um, there's some great exercises that we're gonna do and you can pick and choose exercises to do throughout the day to work on the different parts of your body. Um, so, chair yoga is a great exercise for mindfulness and for your muscles. So, we're gonna get started. So, um, I am barefoot. <laughs> I suggest you be barefoot too, but you know, um, a lot of us are working from home, so we can be barefoot. If you're in the office, you might want to keep your shoes on. <laughs> so let's um, sit up good and tall in our chair and um, have your feet flat on the floor. Put your hands on your lap. You can put them palms down or palms up, whichever you prefer. And I would like you to go ahead and close your eyes because we're gonna start by just centering ourselves, bringing ourselves to this space. Just breathe naturally. And I want you to start focusing on your body and where it's touching the chair. Do you feel where it touches the chair? Notice what parts of your body are touching the chair. Notice where your feet are on the floor. What does that feel like? If you're barefoot, do you feel a nice shaggy carpet? If you have on shoes, can you wiggle those toes? What does the air feel like on your skin? Do you hear any sounds nearby? Okay, now I'd like you to begin to deepen your breath. And in yoga, we breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. So we're gonna deepen our breath, and what we're gonna do is count. I'll count you out. We're gonna do an inhale to four and an exhale to four. So inhale to three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. This time, let's inhale deep, inhale, two, three, four, and then open your mouth and just sigh it out. <sighs> Doesn't that feel great? Let's do that one more time. Inhale, two, three, four. Open your mouth wide and sigh it out. And then gently begin to flutter your eyes open, keeping the gaze low at first. All right, and welcome back. Okay, so when we sit at a desk 
our ergonomic setup can really affect our muscles. You know, our wrists, if we not, don't have the keyboard correctly, it can cause strain on our wrist. We're using a mouse a lot, that can um, strain your wrist. And if you're like me, I'm gonna admit that sometimes I just sit in a chair with my laptop and I'm using the trackpad and I'm hunched over, terrible for your posture. So, we're gonna do some things that will help with that. It really kills my wrist when I'm working on my laptop. So let's start with our wrists. First, I want you to put your hand up, your palm up, and then take the other hand and gently pull back on those fingers. Then point the fingers down and then gently push on your hand. And then this time, let's turn the palm upward, point those fingers down and then grab and gently pull back. Let's do the other hand. Make a stop sign, gently pull back. Fingers pointed down, gently push. Turn the palm up the fingers down and then gently push back. My wrist is going, ah, it feels great. Okay, let's squeeze some Play-Doh, work those fingers. And then just shake your hands out. All right, let's shake our whole body out. Let's just shake our arms, legs, just move around. Just kind of releasing some energy here. Okay, now, Shoulders, I have a real bad habit of hunching forward. So let's get those guys to think about going back. We're gonna bring our shoulders up to our ears and then roll backwards. Really feel those shoulder blades going back and down. And opening up the chest through here as you do those circles. And then let's go forward. Bring those shoulders as if you're kind of closing your chest in. Uh, yeah. Now, can you do one shoulder at a time? We're almost dancing here. All right, and then reverse it. They say motion is lotion, so when you move these joints, you're helping lubricate. You're help, uh, helping lubricate your joints, and that's great. As you get older, you definitely need that. Okay, so uh, next, I want to talk about the neck. Now the neck is where I hold all of my, um, my stress, it's where I, all my tension is, and it's especially bad because looking at my phone, you know, looking down at my phone, I'm playing Wordle, um, or, you know, looking down at my keyboard, my neck really takes it. So we're going to do some necker sizes, I would like to call it. All right, so sit up good and straight. Let's drop that chin down to the chest. You should feel a nice little stretch in the back of your neck. Then let's take that chin and look toward the ceiling. Good stretch in the front of the throat here. Now let's come back to neutral. Now we're gonna draw some smiley faces with our chin. So we're gonna drop our chin down to our chest and then move that chin over to the right shoulder and then draw that smiley face across with your chin over to the left shoulder. And then back again, and then again to the other side, and then back to center, and then back up. Let's take our right ear and tilt it toward that right shoulder. Put the left arm out, because I want to make sure this shoulder stays down. So we're leaning to the right. You can then take your right hand and gently, very gently, Extend that stretch a little bit and pull your head down. Then let's do the other side. So we're going to turn our left ear to our left shoulder. Put up that right arm because I want to make sure that shoulder stays down. Left hand goes up, pulls very gently on that head. Very nice. Now I'm going to show you something that I call stoplight yoga. This is um, a little thing that I do when I stop a stoplight to try to keep my neck um, nice and strong. So we're going to take our hand, take your right hand, you're going to put it against your head. You're going to push your head with that hand, but you're going to push your head into your hand so that nothing moves. Okay, so I'm pushing in and I'm resisting and you should feel those muscles in your neck here tightening. This is a great neck strengthener. All right, take that left hand to the side of your head. 
push, but don't move. Put that head against the hand, the hand against the head. All right, this time let's take the palm of our hand and put it on your forehead. Push back, but then push the head into the hand. And then take your hands behind your head. Push into your head, but push your head into your hands. Excellent. Okay, maybe shake around a little bit. If you do those exercises for the neck a couple times a day, you'll be very happy. Okay, so next we're going to work on our spine. Um, if you've been to a you know a, a regular kind of stand up mat yoga, you often do cat cow stretches. We're going to do our cat cow stretch from our chair. So put your hands on your knees, and we're going to inhale and look up and arch the back. And then as you exhale, bring the chin to the chest and round the back like a scaredy cat would look. Inhale, look up, arch that back. Exhale, chin to chest, round the back. And do that one more time. Inhale, and exhale. Warming up the spine. All right, so let's now do uh, some sun breaths. What we're going to do is put our hands out to the side, really reach down with those fingertips, sit up good and tall. We're going to inhale and sweep our arms up, palms together, bring them together, hands at heart center as you exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale up, exhale. All right, we're going to add on to that, so let's inhale up. Now I'd like you to drop that left arm. You might want to hold on to the chair here. And then you're going to take, uh, and, uh, take your body and lean to the left. Oh, yeah, nice stretch along this side body. Inhale that hand back up. Now let's drop the right hand and then lean the other way. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Inhale that right arm up. We're going to do this again. We're going to drop that hand down. This time I want you to take that left hand, put it across, grab the outside of that right thigh, and then lean again. Maybe you can go a little farther this time. Let's inhale back up. Bring that left arm up. And drop the right hand. And then reach across, touch the outer left thigh, and then lean again. Maybe you're a little deeper this time. Come on back up. Inhale that hand up. Exhale to heart center. Okay. So even though we're in a chair, we're going to do a sun salutation. Okay. So hands back down. We're going to inhale up. And we're going to fold forward all the way down. And I want you to just lay your chest on your thighs and just hang there. Let your head hang down nice and loose. You might be feeling a nice release in that lower back when you do this. This is, um, often helps with anxiety or if you need to kind of calm down. Doing this kind of forward fold can really help. All right. On an inhale, we're going to come up. And I want you to grab that right knee as you come up and pull it in. Pull it in good and tight. Now inhale, sit up good and straight. Exhale, round the back, nose to knee. Inhale, drop that foot, circle those arms up. And we're going to go back down again to that forward fold. Hang down here, enjoy this moment. Good fresh blood rushing to the head there. So it helps energize you, helps calm you. Let's inhale and bring that left knee up this time, pulling it in. Sit up good and tall, inhale. Fold forward, nose to knee, rounding the back. Inhale, drop the foot, circle, sweep those arms up. We're gonna go down again. Hang it here for just a moment. And then this time, we're just going to roll up one vertebrae at a time. 
nice and slowly, working that spine some more. The last thing to come up will be your eyebrows. Okay. All right, let's come forward a little bit on our chair. Let's bring up that right knee again, pull it in like we did before. And let's do some ankle circles. You might hear a little cracking. I do. Go the other way. I'm a big proponent of foot yoga. The older you get, the more important it is to have good, strong ankles and toes. So let's point and flex now. Point and flex. You need strong toes, strong ankles to keep your balance. All right, now let's take that leg. We're going to take our left hand under our foot, hold onto that right knee, and we're going to rock the baby a little bit here. So what we're doing is moving that little hip socket back and forth. Remember, motion is lotion, helping to lubricate those joints, open them up. A lot of people carry their tension in their hips, and especially sitting down all day. All right, go ahead and put your foot, your leg down on um, your other leg. If this is where you need to be, that's fine. If you can move that foot over and put it right on top of the thigh and then flex it, try that, okay? So this is a, called a seated pigeon pose. You should feel a little bit of um, um, muscles in the, the glutes working and along here, the IT band. Um, this might be enough for you or you know even this, um, that's fine. If you need a little bit more, try gently pushing on that knee. Okay, the next step, if you want to try, lean forward. You might even be able to reach one hand to the floor. Or maybe two hands. Two hands not available to me today. <laughs> All right, let's gently come on back up. Release that foot. All right, let's bring in the left leg. Let's do our ankle circles one way, and then the other. And then point and flex. And then let's grab, keep your hand under the left knee, hand under the right foot, and then let's rock the baby. Gently moving that hip socket. That feels nice to me. <laughs> okay, then go ahead and put that foot down. And again, if this is what you got today, go for it. Um, if you got a little bit more, you can go ahead and move that foot over, put it on the, uh, the thigh, and then the stretch of your choice here. Um, you know, a lot of us are working from home um, you can do this during a meeting. If you're in a virtual meeting, they can only see you from here up. Why don't you practice doing your seated pigeon during the meeting? Multitasking, working on those hips. Okay, I'm gonna lean forward. And I'm gonna reach for the floor. And I do love this stretch. If you're a runner, you would love this, you love this stretch too. The IT band needs this stretch. Okay, let's come on up. Okay, now, what would yoga be without some warrior poses? We're gonna do a warrior. So we're gonna turn sideways in our chair. And so let's have our right leg being fully supported by the chair. The left leg goes out behind you. You can put it flat on the floor. I'm not sure you can actually see, but I've got my foot angled um, on the floor. Okay, now. We're going to do our warrior two so just raise those arms up now here in warrior two you want your shoulders directly over your hips i don't want you doing this don't lean forward those shoulders should be here over the hips okay um, there's a little strengthening exercise you can do here for your legs if you want to try you can push down on your feet and then hover lift yourself up and hover over the chair this is a nice little exercise. I'm feeling it right here. All right, and then release. Often our shoulders tend to be creeping up. It's a good way to, to help on this um, pose. Turn your palms up. When you did that, you might have felt your shoulder blades go back down. 
that's where you want them to be. So keep them there and then turn the palms back facing down and look, gaze over that right hand. Drop that left hand to the leg behind you. Turn that right palm up. Reach over and back for reverse warrior. Good stretch through the side body here. Working the muscles back here too. Let's bring that right arm down to the right leg and reach over with the left. Extended side angle. Okay. Really energize through the fingertips all the way down that side body, all the way down to your toes. Inhale, let's circle back up to reverse warrior. Let's go back to our extended side angle. And then come on back to warrior two. And then back to neutral. And then we'll do it on the other side. So let's have that left leg being supported by the chair. The right foot goes out, flat on the floor. Arms go up. Check your alignment. Make sure you're not too far forward, too far back. Check those shoulders. Drop the palms. Can you push into those feet and hover over the chair? Release. Right hand down to the back of the leg. Left palm turns up. And reach back for reverse warrior. Opening up that front body. Lovely. Left arm to the left thigh. Right arm reaches over the ear. Extended side angle. Inhale and circle back to that reverse warrior. Left arm comes down, right arm over the head. And come on back to warrior two. And then back to center. All right. Everybody's favorite pose in yoga is Shavasana when you lay down, you lie down and you, you breathe. It's also the hardest pose, quite frankly, because you want to clear your mind and think of nothing but your breath. So we're going to try that seated, just like we began, sitting in your chair, feet on the floor, palms on your lap, either facing down or up. And I want you to go ahead and close your eyes again. And just breathe normally. And as you sit here, scan your body. Focus on your body. Scan and see if it feels any different than when we started. Notice how your chest rises and falls with your breath. Begin to deepen your breath. I'm going to count to four for the inhale, and this time five for the exhale. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Again, inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Five. Take a nice deep breath. Open the mouth side out. One more time. Inhale deep. Open up side out. Gently flutter open your eyes, keeping the gaze low. I would like to say namaste and thank you so much to you all for joining me today. 
Um, tune in tomorrow. Anjali is going to be doing a progressive muscle relaxation session, 15, 20 minutes, starting at noon. Um, that's a great mindfulness technique that will make your mind and body feel very yummy. So thank you so much for joining me today, and look for more great uh, Engage Anywhere programs for the rest of this year. Thank you, and bye-bye.